Hi, I'm Kim Kohler from KimberlyKohler.com. Today I have an inspirational tutorial for you on how to make multimedia inspirational quote cards. This project is not just creative and inspiring when you're actually doing it, it's also going to give you lots of inspiration in the future as well. Um, so here's my stack of cards and I'm going to be showing you how to make these. So I'm all about finding inspiration in any way I can. I'm actually, that is probably the f number one question I'm asked is where do you get your creative ideas? And the thing is I just collect them. I make stuff. I have a sketchbook for jewelry designs. I have art journals that I create stuff in. I just anytime the inspiration hits me I go for it. But sometimes you may not feel so inspired. So I have this project so that you can be creative and inspired while you're making it and then use them in the future as well. And I'm going to actually have a video coming up um, and a blog post showing you kind of how to use these after you make them for even more inspiration. So you may, just what you need may be just making these cards or you may use them for inspiration to make art journal pages or you may even go further and use them for inspiration to make your jewelry creations as well. And so I'm going to show you those in upcoming videos. Today we're just going to make these cards. So oh, I think I first got the idea to make art on index cards from this art journal or teacher. Her name is Daisy Yellow, or it might be Yellow Daisy. I will be doing a blog post for this and I'll be linking to her. She does an index card a day challenge in the summer and when I found her it wasn't the summer so I just decided to go ahead and give it a try anyway. I love index cards. I'm obsessed with stationery but I love index cards and if you've seen some of my other blog posts I actually use a system of index cards for creating jewelry design ideas. Actually I don't really use it so much anymore which you see in my jewelry design workshop I show you exactly what I'm doing now but in the past I would just go through a stack of index cards and sketch out ideas and then not even worry about what it looks like or if this is really a good idea if I can even make this jewelry design whatever I would just go through and then organize them later so I love index cards so making art on index cards makes a lot of sense so I decided I wanted to make a set of creativity quotes on index cards and the cards themselves would be little pieces of art but they'd also be helpful for me when I'm feeling uninspired to kind of flip through, grab a card, and then go from there. So I found 21 creativity quotes that I found inspiring and if you'd like to use the same quotes I'm using you can go over to my website and there's a PDF there the link is below the video. So I'm going to show you how to make the cards like I made them but you can really do this in any way you want. I really want to encourage you to express your own creativity. For example I used watercolors and different ephemera and kind of sort of collaged them and then put the quotes on you may want to use crayons or markers or color pencils or draw drawings on them that make sense to you or you may want to do what I did whatever you want to do you might want to just write the quotes on cards so you have them to flip through later whatever feels right to you go ahead and do so I'm going to show you how I made one of these and then um, you can go off and make them yourself. You can use the quotes I have used or you can look up your own quotes. If you Google inspirational creative quotes you can come up with a lot or maybe there's a different theme you want to use. You can Google it and see what you come up with. Okay so let's get started on our cards. So the tools and materials you'll need are basically anything you want to use. You will need index cards and you'll need two for each quote card you're going to use because if you're painting them especially um, they can be kind of flimsy. I like to uh, secure two together to make them a little stronger. 
I am going to be using watercolors and so I'll also need water and a paintbrush. You'll need a sharpie or some other sort of marker to actually write your quote. You may want, I have silver and gold pens that I just like to add extra lines to. Actually this looks like it's out of ink um, in the background and I'm going to show you all the cards I made too so you'll see what I mean. It's just, I just sort of like to layer the look. And if you want to do it like I am, I will be doing a little bit of collage. I just grab these scrapbook papers. You could use any sort of papers, magazines, that sort of thing. And I'll be obviously cutting these down to use on the card smaller. This is great for keeping little scraps of paper you may have from other projects to use on this project. And then you're going to need either a glue stick or I like to use a tape runner. And that's just for your collaging and also to attach your two cards together and scissors. And I think that's it. Okay, so to get started, choose a quote. And I'm going to use this Frank Lloyd Wright quote. The longer I live, the more beautiful life becomes. If you foolishly ignore beauty, you will soon find yourself without it. And I'm a huge fan of Frank Lloyd Wright and his architecture and designs. And I've been to several of his houses that he's designed. So that feels like a good quote for me to start with. You can do whatever quote you want, of course. How I start is I start with a layer of watercolor first. And since I've already kind of chosen some colors here for my papers, I'll probably stick with this color palette for my watercolors as well. And honestly, this is actually also how I do my art drawing right now. Um, you know, I change it up sometimes, but I usually just start out. And I am working on a paper towel. If you're going to be doing 21 cards, and I have pictures of this over on my blog, I did all of the backgrounds at one time. So you might just want to work on that, and then you can actually just allow it all to dry, and then do the next step, and the next step. So I'm going with the, it's actually showing up very late on the camera because of the lighting in my house right now, but I'm going with a green and yellow palette here. And probably add a little orange. And I'm just, it's just a background, so I'm just randomly adding colors. Maybe blending them together a little bit more. Might add a little darker green in here a little bit more. Some more turquoise, but yeah, I might I might regret that, but we'll see. Um, the good thing is how I do things. I collage on top, so I could just cover that up if I decide I don't like it. And I want to actually go a little bit darker with the orange here too. So let's choose a different tone. All right. Add a little orange over here to a little pop. Okay, now we're just gonna let this dry and then we will do the next step. Oh, and in case you're wondering what uh, watercolors I'm using, it's the set, and I think it's, I don't have the, I think it's Artist Loft, I know I got it at Michael's, so there's lots of different colors, they have different sizes, I started out with this one, it didn't have enough options for me, um, but you can get smaller ones just about anywhere, the Crayola ones work just fine, and you can you can get those even, even at like grocery stores and stuff like that. You find them everywhere. So if you're looking for watercolors, I'm just using plain old student model watercolors. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. 
Okay, so once your card has dried, or if you're trying to do a whole bunch at once, once they all have dried, um, we can move on. I just love how cool this looks with the paper towels. But anyway, um, in here, like you'll see, when it dries, it kind of bends up like this a little bit, and it's also pretty flimsy. So I like to just take another card and attach it to the back. You can use a glue stick. I like to use a tape runner. So I'm just going to do that now. Just go around the edges. And then just line it up. And okay. And I didn't line it up well. So basically, I just when I do this, because it happens to me sometimes, I just trim off whatever's sticking out and don't worry about it, rather than starting all over again. Okay, so we have the background, and now I'm just going to add all the extra little collage pieces, and you may want to write your quote on a piece of paper. I might write it on here and place it on top and it makes it a little bit easier. You may want to write your quote on the card first and then arrange paper around it, your collaging around it, whatever works. Or you might want to do some collaging and leave a little space on the side that you know your quote will fit on. Whatever works for you, go ahead and do. Um, I'm going to speed up this part a little bit so that you don't have to watch this process in real time. Okay, so once I have everything arranged, what I typically do is just pull the whole stack off and then work from the bottom up uh, using my tape runner to stick stuff down. And so that is the finished card. So I just layered everything up, stuck it down. I wrote the quote on here. I couldn't fit the quote author's name on the front, so I'm just going to put it on the back so I know. And that's what I did on um, a lot of my other cards. And that's really all there is to it. And like I said, you can use any kind of art you want. You could just scribble with crayons in the background. You could just do the watercolors and write the quote. You could just simply write the quote. So next week, I'm going to show you how I'm using my quote cards. So all these quotes are kind of to inspire me, remind me that, you know, a lot of them are about getting up again, starting over, taking small steps like dripping water, you know, just take little steps. I just recently heard something like even a turtle can make it pretty far in a year. So I just keep thinking turtle steps, just taking one little step at a time. So I hope you found this project inspiring. You can click on the link in the description to go to the blog post with lots of photos of these quote cards to give you inspiration and also a link to the PDF of all the quotes I use but again you can use whatever quotes you want and I'd love for you to check out my jewelry design workshop that's on Teachable you can learn my process for getting 
inspiration, pulling out ideas from my inspiration, sketching drawing designs, refining and deciding what pieces to make, troubleshooting designs, and finally creating a collection. Um, if you're not planning to create a collection, this workshop is still great for you because you'll learn the process for finding your own unique design voice and having never-ending jewelry design ideas. You can find out the link below the video. I will see you next week and I hope you have a great day.